in this video we are going to see that how can we embed a word document into excel so that's a pretty straightforward method and it is very useful let's just see how we are going to actually do it so first of all make sure that your word document is ready that you want to embed into your excel next you might want to know its location beforehand then you can proceed with these steps so what you're going to do is in excel you want to go to this insert tab in this insert tab you want to go all the way to this text group in this text group you have this option called object which allows you to insert or embed the different kinds of documents or the files into your microsoft excel sheet so we're going to click on this object and here you can see the different types of objects that are available that you can embed okay so from here you want to select the microsoft word document and uh, if you want a macro enable document that also you can select if you have older versions of microsoft word that also you can select that 97 to 2003 version if you want to create a new document however if you have an already existing document then what you can do is just go to this option create from file either you can enter the file name if the excel file and the microsoft word document are both on the same path on the same place or you can just click on browse my word document is present in the desktop so let's just select this and click on insert now there are two options that you can use a link to a file uh, either you can use it or not use it if you use it then what will happen is all the changes that are made to the file the original word file which has been embedded which will also be shown into this particular embedding however if you don't click on this option then the whole document would be uploaded in microsoft excel and a copy of that particular document would be shown that means the time at which you had uploaded that document whatever its scenario was or however it was looking it is how it would be shown into microsoft excel no matter if it gets deleted from the original location if it gets modified if it gets changed no changes would be reflected so each of these options have their own advantages like if it is a huge document you cannot upload a huge document into the worksheet or into microsoft excel as a whole then you can just go with the link of the file if you want a stable version of the information that um, you don't want to change for yourself then you can embed um, the document by uploading it to microsoft excel however the second option that is uploading to microsoft excel is always on top priority because it helps you to get a clearer view for your worksheet no matter what happens with the document um, whether it gets deleted or it gets modified okay so the second option is display as icon if you want to display it as an icon that also you can select this is the kind of the icon um, through which it would be visible if you want to change its icon you can just change it these are these different icons that microsoft word had been using since the past few years if you want any of these icons you can just select them okay uh, let's just click on okay now what will happen is it would take a few seconds because we have asked it to upload the document then it would be visible like this you want to change its size you can change it you want to move it all around the place you can move it if you just double click on this icon what will happen is a word document would be opened in microsoft word as you can see with all the documents or all the information present in it as it is now let's see another scenario where we do not click on uh, icon option so if you just go to create from file let's just go to browse and again click the same document insert it this time we are not going to display it as an icon and now we can click on ok then what will happen is that this icon uh, would not be visible the whole document would be visible like i just had a single line of text in my document so the uh, single line of text is visible as a part of the excel sheet so these are also the two ways through which you can um, make your document visible in microsoft excel that is either through an icon where there is an extra step to open the document that is you got to go to that particular place and double click it and either you can want a uh, to show it as a whole document you can of course change its size like this and even you can move it anywhere that you want like this so that's how you can embed the word document in microsoft excel that's all for this video thanks for watching